I welcome you to to this channel if you're new here and for those that always watch I continue to welcome you so today I've been thinking of uh, a video that I can make initially I was going to call this video how to do with fake support and resistance but later on I changed my mind uh, we are going to be looking at some of the things to consider before you take entries so uh, uh, it's been a while ever since I uploaded honestly it's quite draining uh, <laughs> to do YouTube and personal trading so it's really to me uh, sometimes I tend to lose focus on one so uh, that's why I get lost for some days just to focus on personal personal trading majorly but I always think about making videos uh, when I was starting by the way for me I prefer even doing my videos in some kind of mentorship I don't want to motivate you guys I don't want to just motivate you just like many of the channels but uh, uh, maybe time will come because uh, I've been also doing some research most people are interested in motivation someone posting and they say in profits so like uh, people tend not to look at the real issues uh, people tend not to look at the real issues so I want to question because I realize that there are even many people who are just starting out to find this channel so uh, I want to guide you just don't just look for motivation trust me there are a lot of things to consider take time to learn take time to practice everyone's learning process I, I've not seen anyone successful and they just made it in just two days no and then the other thing you'll even find on this channel uh, that uh, uh, that that those uh, videos they say the best trading strategy like sometimes you look at how you can put a title and people you find that even i realize that even the videos that are attracting the most amount of views here are, are not really the most important to trading i'll be honest to you because i always want to be honest to people and even by the uh, I, I believe uh, because i said i prefer doing things like mentorship I want to be a bit of a guide to be honest i really feel bad when someone is losing most of people are just starting out and even people i get messages on telegram i'm very broke there is no holy grail uh holy grail uh strategy uh this is not gambling because if i uh if i can tell you personally uh when i was starting out my first trading was on iq options but then later on i did research on it personally i don't believe in gambling i realize iq options that's gambling where you place a bet and then uh, you wait for some time and then you either win or lose this is not gambling and i, I don't believe in it so which means uh, you can be consistently making profits and you can consistently make losses so you guys don't just look for mentorship even things things that are useful even we have watched some channels but there are few channels that are really telling the truth people like to be hyped up so i don't want to hype up you get because i can do it i don't want to hype up i someone just does a uh, post let's say it's growing an account those kind of things maybe one time i will do them because for sure people like seeing them they like getting motivated and then they lose so uh take time take in information but uh it, this is not holy grail i'll be honest to you i want to i don't i don't care how many people watch this i know people can skip but uh it's really important the psychology is really important um and then one other thing that i want to caution you guys uh by the very soon i'm going to i'm going to do by the today i'm going to do uh, some kind of price action smc video and even the next two or three videos will be still on like price action but then uh after them i'm going to do i'm going to share a strategy i'm going to be sharing my knowledge on btmm uh this is this i'm talking about real strategies that uh like by the way you guys if i come and i put a macd and i put an rsi just things randomly trust me you may win today but you can never i don't think you can ever be consistent so even in trading there are those stages you find that most people 
when they're just starting out, they started with an indicator. Then they started making systems. There are many videos on each channel also. Uh, they, you start making video uh, systems, you combine uh, Bollinger Bands with, uh, let's say, MACD. Those are stages in trading. But trust me, the day you'll get profitable, you'll find that those things were useless. But when they were helpful in your learning process, they are not useless if you're at that level. So if you've been at that level for for two years and you're still there making indicator systems and all that, uh, trust me, you better step up the game. You better step up the game. Then why am I going to be sharing my... I'm not going to teach BTMM, but I'm going to be sharing some tips because BTMM uh, beat the market, the market maker. By the way, you can check out the channel on Telegram. It's called BTMM Chat Group. Yeah, there are guys who are using BTMM and they are profitable consistency. So it is an indicator based strategy. Uh it's indicator based. But uh for it, it doesn't it's not it's not that when you reach by the you guys when they're moving the market, it's not that when it touches two hundred moving average now you buy. No one is moving the market to make those losses. Trust me. These people are not stupid. Because when you're winning, they are giving out money. So they cannot let the market crash because four and a half trillion US dollars to move just based on a moving average? No. But there's so, some specific things that they look out for. And you're going to find that what I'm going to, going to talk about today is something. Uh, these are things they also talk about in BTMM. You get things that they talk about in BTMM. Like for instance, in BTMM, yes, they are moving averages under TDI. But uh, you find that Steve talks about hitting the stops. Now, for instance, you look you look at this point here. You get this level here. People are looking at these points here, this point at, as support, you get? So when the moment the moment they come, here they are buying, you get? And then when we break below, there are those breakout and retest traders, you get? There are those people who are in. These are stages, you get? Some people know when we break out, we shall come and retest and then, so there's a lot of chaos here. There are a lot of orders sitting here. So the market maker, as as this guy says, as Steve Mahoro, he comes and hits the stops and then he moves. The market maker doesn't move with the crowd. You get? They don't move. He doesn't move with the crowd. So we better be careful. What I want to talk about is that uh, always be careful when you're taking entries at these levels. So I've been kind of disorganized the way I've started because I feel like I have a lot to talk about, but I don't even wish to make these videos long, you get, but I would give guidance, you get, I would give guidance. And then uh, people look at these areas as uh, resistance, you get, people look at re resistance, this one support. So when they reach here, when the market reaches here, you'll find that someone is selling. And you'll find that in most cases, by the time we reach this point, an RSI will be like, say, at 80 or 90, you get, then you sell. So. You guys better step up, better step up, better step up. I feel I should guide. And then, by the way, I'm tired of, I'm tired of guys who are texting me. You just, uh, let's say, better just help. What what for me? My bra my mother is sick. What what? You guys, trust me. Trust me. You will never value the information because I told you there's no holy grail strategy. I'll give you my knowledge. Trust me, if it was for free, you will never take it serious. Because even then, even when I give it to you, even when you pay, trust me, when you get the right information, you're going to take in time to see how it is applicable. You get? We can use the same strategy. Personally, I've been a student of uh, BTMM. By the way, uh, then before I even started price action, uh, I was so much into indicators, what, what, then... The easiest transition that I got was in BTMM. Then later on, I uh, was introduced to ICT and SMC. ICT and SMC, we made systems. It can work for one week. The next week, it doesn't work. So all those all those challenges like were first, you get. But it's a learning process. It's always a learning process. And by the way, it can really impact you. The, you can get to know situations where things work, where things do not work. So... Uh, like if you're starting out today, trust me, you're not going to perfect it the next month, no. Because people who are behind these movements, these are people who are educated and learned. 
you get these are people who are educated and learned they are holding a lot of capital you get they're here to make profit you get so now well uh, so that's why i'm going to do btmm because it will be a, a quick transition to those who have been making rsi and stochastic systems uh trust me uh, i believe btmm can help you out and then later on so i started smc but what actually the point i, I remember the point that i was bringing across even in SMS, not everything that my friend uses is applicable to me. You get much as almost in trading, everything works. You get everything can work. There are people who are using trend lines and maybe they're working. But then can it be consistent and sustainable? You get can you apply it over because uh, situations are ever different here. This is a buying, a buying part, you get. But it is different from uh it is different from this one somehow you get from this one you get so but we are all buying in this place so even the part of selling here so there are those differences more so when the market the chart is moving you get so you really need to look out for issues ask yourself a lot of questions you get so uh for those uh that wanted free mentorship i'm not really offering it besides if at all, trust me, if at all I'm not managing to make YouTube videos, you get YouTube videos, I would wish to make them every day. I would wish to do them every day. But I cannot even spare, uh, let's say, one hour for it. How about someone with whom I'm going to be, let's say, you are free to ask questions. What, what, those things you are asking, you, I'm creating content. I made this also my personal, uh, my personal, uh, my personal schedules so maybe the other thing that i can talk about uh for the remaining part of the year this is a time uh actually in the coming days it's better to start off from the market because it gets choppy let me first explain something you see in a day normally we start in a consolidation and then they say we get a downward move and then normally the, before it ends we end in a consolidation likewise in most cases you find that also the year from january from december january there we are consolidating a little bit then mid jan we start moving either upwards or downwards and we end the same way so here it gets choppy so it's going to be tricky uh in this month of december for you to be in the market so be careful take this time to learn take this time to learn so that by the time it reaches january yeah take this month january 15th the year when you've gone hard on reading eh? like on on back testing not just getting information you get and you develop even out of personally i use i uh, use uh uh you see i see uh, smc is like these are icd concepts almost you get most of the contents in in smc personally i, see, I feel that uh they are ict concepts but like i believe smc comes after people most many people studying ict and then they add in they blend in they attach you get their personal findings you get so i can generally say that um i use smc not that it is holy grail but it's something that they feel comfortable with though by the way when you get friends personal i have friends who are using just btmm and they are killing it but you relate knowledge you talk to them but yes that's what they've mastered but you find that they're even adding in things that still mauro didn't talk about you get like they're adding them in so now uh take time you learn and then you bring out what is best for you like what works for you you get what really works for you so you better also uh you better also do that so me, let me quickly i can talk a lot about guiding you get but and then the other thing don't get so over motivated by someone posting uh uh the 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 profits you get the profits uh the profit uh actually uh the channels here that i've seen that uh are creating there are few actually i've so far seen only two that were bringing out some good content it was in smc anyways but those people they never post their results you get they hardly talk about them but they can give you something that can be consistent for you but then you find that their views are really low you get the content that would help out someone the views are really 
small and then the content that would help out someone people like people with people like content that would would not help someone posting let's say from uh let's say if i put in this uh title let's say how i grow my account to half a million dollars hey, hey, hey. people are going to come and watch you get so there are those things so you find you're they are miserable you you're hating on yourself you start hating on those people who are winning you feel like you're lost so mm -hmm. and then such things are brought in this impact that i'm going to talk about you see let me just talk about these areas here when someone marks out this area we can say that previously we were really uh, dropping breaking structures down you get we were breaking structures down let me quickly talk about something useful now so we are breaking structures coming down just like that breaking structures coming down like that you get so all of a sudden you reach a consolidation you get so under normal circumstances we believe this is what we call expect expectation versus reality let's say we expect the market in a bearish market we expect a drop and a rise a drop uh, that is minor drops like that drops and rises like that that those ones but all of a sudden we can see that we got instead of getting um uh, we were expecting yes a rise but it goes above you get it goes above so what does it bring to our heads that now possibly now think about this sometimes we can say that possibly we put in a shift in market structure you get a shift in market structure so by the in most cases this is a shift in market structure but sometimes you have to realize where you are you get now this requires order flow i'm not going to the details a uh, person this uh this entry was best if you are looking at uh the daily or the h4 time frame and then you could do the order flow personally to me you get it to me but then you reach here there are many people who are seeing uh this area here you get now the moment we break a structure above then we return there are people who are already buying here you get the market maker starts to make money now you get now we've broken above there are people who are already buying the market reverses i believe people have lost they hit your stop loss you get now uh and in most cases the funny thing you're going to find that this area reaches when we are at let's say rsi has crossed a moving average below level 10 even me you can watch those previous videos about indicators they are there actually they are the most watched that's what pains me you get that's what really pains me the things where i try to talk about by the i don't even give out the whole content even just today but where someone would get a clue about the market people are not watching it's painful it really pains me now the funny thing you find that this one reaches when let's say uh, someone has a system and then it's just looking like that here these are lines and then we are below level 10. i'm not saying that those things maybe don't work but with experience maybe mm -hmm. now you find that uh-huh the rsi uh rsi line has reached level between level 10 and what so it is something like that now something like this happens so, so as it goes up someone here buys you get and then they come for you you get they come for you now there are a lot of people here and then the market goes up again we break structure here you get now these people have been liquidated this is in smc what normally people look at as liquidity now they've created an an area of support here people are seeing are drawing and seeing this as support you get now we break structure above now what does the market do the moment reach here people there are some people who are waiting for the market to reach this strong support and then possibly they buy you get what happens the market sweeps them before it reverses you get so you find that there are few people who have analyzed this area here to move with the market maker you get so and even in consolidations you find that now the market starts to expand we get these imbalances i talked about imbalance i talked about fair value gaps by the those by the if you check out those videos uh these are uh, manipulation what what personal even even if you're using by the btmm even if you're using btmm 
because it's the indicator based strategy person there are others bba what but btmm is one of the most authentic for indicators but trust me even there they tell you don't go in before the market maker hits the stops what are the stops people are spying here and the stop losses are just here you get don't get in before the market maker hits the stops and trust me if you're using btmm would give you it would give you a good entry you find that by the time we cross uh, the moving average 13 13 13 would be crossed i believe at around here so the guy of btmm scalps of some profits you get before we go into the, uh, the asian consolidation possibly you get so btmm would get you in possibly well you get so now uh, and now as we are going up now people here beginners and my fellow friends have lost out the market moves but here they were right the market was going to go up you get so be careful when you're getting in don't get in at these double tops you get you don't wait now i'm going i'm going to show you sometimes these moves you may not catch it now the other thing don't think that you're going to catch every entry person have been privileged i've been privileged to get access to people who are constantly profitable people have experience very lucky i've been having i've had that privilege but trust me you can never catch every move you get but just move with your pace at your pace you get so yes they will go they will go like that but then if really they want to buy they will come most most of the time wait they can come back and then you get an opportunity to get in so you may not be able to get this one first of all it was in a tricky area you get it was in a tricky area but on h4 it was expected and anticipated so that's it then the other thing that i'm going to talk about a bit lastly you get because i've talked so much before at the beginning lastly uh we see this level here you get we can see this level here there are these tops here people are looking at this area as an area of strong resistance you get market reaches there rejects market reaches there rejects you get people looking at that so now first of all uh let, people people the moment the market because now the these ones who are, who are looking at buying here you get now people see that we've changed from a bearish market to maybe we are going in a bullish market you get by the way if i talked about this country premium always be careful buy in buy in discount here we bought in discount mm -hmm. and then sell in premium before you sell that that concept really helps because i've seen even i've seen even uh a btmm guys friends using it in btmm now you get so now people are looking at this as resistance the moment you reach here there are people who are selling this line here you get but now always you get retailers by the way there is something common about retailers they react to patterns you get retailers retail trading reacts to patterns now don't wh what i want to bring out don't trade things that are looking obvious to everyone they are like a million people who are looking at this as resistance don't think the market maker is going to give away all that money to sell here just here because uh you, it is resistance they create it to for everyone to see you get they create it for everyone to see you get so now <clears throat> we are coming back here now the same thing happens people are now shift have shifted guns this is their resistance now there are people who are going to be buying here you get so now the areas of interest really i'm not going to talk about them but just get the concept you get because when i start explaining those areas of interest yeah it takes time and besides it it requires some kind of elaboration and looking at different uh different things that's why i cover those things in mentorship it is not mandatory it is not really mandatory to join the mentorship so and it's not free you get if you choose to join join if you if you choose to go by videos these videos are hopeful but they will not help you to develop a proper strategy like you get in the information but then trust me you need to get some proper approach where someone takes you through a step and another step then you develop your own 
steps you build a story you get don't only build a story of losses you can build a story of how you transited from losses to winning you get so this is what i wanted to tell you here don't look at obvious things people were looking at this as resistance they come and hit through but remember we were looking at buys now people now shift to starting to sell you get but here they are taking out liquidity and on a bigger time frame if we relate really they were willing to go back up now you watch i want to close off the video very soon uh, now they come back up now here they've taken out many people now here they could now they buy now people are shifting guns to selling here you get their loss between buying and selling so which means here this move here was really rapid but it left behind now for us to come back here this was a demand zone you get it created a demand zone you get so people who are drawing trend who are looking at resistance here they first took them out you get they come hit the pick up orders here. now actually people who are selling here they come they push the market up hit your stop loss before they sell you get and then <laughs> you guys let me not overgo in details so anyways let's finish up uh you see people are looking at this as resistance you get so it's not only knowing when to trade but it's always so good to know when to stay away you get people who are selling here strong resistance they go through no time to waste you get no time to waste so you guys the main thing uh, is that i may not be consistent in making these videos because honestly i told you from the get-go uh, i have to balance with my trading you get but take time you understand if you're making those systems it's a learning process many people have made them many people have made them but the other thing there is no holy grail strategy of or no loss strategy no in all strategies you can lose you get there's no holy grail then uh you can uh like uh this is not a get rich quick scheme by the way that's what i wanted to bring out this is not a get rich quick scheme so but you can consistently make some profits and then you can become wealthy like consistently legitimately you get legitimately where you become profitable you get so don't lose hope uh create time i know people want to use indicators because they don't want to do the hard work they think it has to show me now let me buy uh, you buy you don't want to do the hard work but trust me even indicators where uh the strategy most of by the now i can only talk about btm but though that is bba even strategies that i don't know all of them i believe there is hard work because this is a legitimate business not a gambling business i wish you the best